Hey there, I'm Slightly Froggy. Welcome back to my stream. Tonight I'm continuing my playthrough of Persona 3 Reload. I'm leaving it at that right now because I want to watch the opening again. It's not going to be like this every time, but like once the novelty is worn off and the opening stops being a banger, then we'll skip it. But for now, it's like I, we need the fun beats. It's half of the fun of a Persona game the music but hopefully you're doing well where you are I'm trying to think if i've been up to anything particularly new and exciting since last we spoke um i still have not played more elden ring i had uh i was out for a good bit of the day on saturday and on sunday it was like our catch-up day where i caught up on the first couple episodes of the bachelorette which i know is trash i am well aware it's a guilty pleasure of mine let me have this and like catching up on some of our other shows or anime that we're currently watching. Watched a couple more episodes of the CBS adaptation of The Stand. Uh, played some Small World on PC. Gotten back into that again after not playing it for a while. Gabsby, welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well tonight where you are. Been up to anything new and exciting since the last stream. I was just recounting my week and I'm like, dang, I, I was really busy at work this past week. It was, um, I had a really good time. Like it was, it, we had like our big like company summer party. So I wasn't helping out with planning it. It was a lot of work, but uh, I had a really good time. And then the weekend flew by way too fast. So admittedly, not too much too new and exciting on my hand. Although I will say, uh, for uh for going to a company event with an open bar i was like uh, i i watched it i didn't get too overboard it's always funny watching the more junior people like you know what like when you're in a work environment and you're offered an open bar sometimes the younger employees take a little bit to like learn their limit they're they're used to partying on their terms outside of work and it's just like you can party at some work functions depending on where you're working but there is that fine line between like having fun and being sloppy i will say though i had not slept a couple of nights going into this summer party and uh i almost fell asleep on the ride home <laughs> which i was responsible i took an uber but I did almost fall asleep in the car, which was not very safe. That's how I know I'm getting old, where it's just like, I was in a dangerous situation at a party. I almost fell asleep in the Uber. <laughs> I feel that kind of, uh, it's those moments that make you feel old. Hopefully you're not feeling old on your end. Hopefully you're doing well. I am excited to be, well, actually speaking of feeling old, we're going to be channeling our youth jumping back into this high school game because we've got classes to go to we've got clubs to check out we've got shadows to shoot now we have a persona which is great can defend ourselves and hopefully the game will start letting me do stuff in the evenings instead of saying you know what you should go to bed it's like maybe i don't want to go to bed Everybody made fun of Morgana and Persona 5 for always being like, you should go to sleep. This game is just as bad. Was it like this in the original Persona 3? I'm curious now. But we're gonna give folks a couple minutes to kind of file in before we get started. Uber the other day, absolutely insane driver told me his entire alleged family history. Oh boy. Yeah, like, y you get some interesting ones, that's for sure. I'm glad you're safe. Hey there, Texas, and hey there, JJ. Welcome back to the stream, both of you. Hope you're doing well tonight. And Qua, welcome back to the stream. Hello, hello, everybody. Anybody get up to anything new and exciting since the last stream? I will say, like, getting back onto the Uber topic for a minute, I have had some, like, interesting uber rides thankfully none of them dangerous but i've heard of some friends like being in canada you get like the winter and the snow and uh not all the drivers get the right tires for that kind of driving uh some of my friends have had close calls 
in, in those situations. Can't call you commander anymore. <laughs> Be the title for your current game. Ooh, I don't know. Does does the lead in Persona 3 have like a nickname of sorts? Like, might have to think on that one. I'm open to suggestions though. Include the family being screwed over by the crown of England. The new result. Oh boy. Some people just... Some people will do whatever it takes to create an enemy that they can be angry about. It doesn't always make sense, but some people will grasp at anything. Might not at first, but maybe a while into the game. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm open to suggestions for potential titles for now. We can always adjust later. Nothing says we have to stick with it for the whole game. Not Joker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, we got one, I want to say fairly early on in Persona 5 with Joker, but also that was still during the tutorial phase, so it was still, it was hour 13 into the game when we got it. <laughs> thing of getting is, getting a little burnt out on ME playthroughs. All the current ones I'm following have started to annoy you for various reasons. Interesting. I kind of had that when I was watching a lot of playthroughs of, I think it was Until Dawn back in the day, because like, Similar to Mass Effect, where you can, like, the game can play out in different ways depending on the choices you make. The scale of them is very different, but it's like, once you've seen, like, a handful of them, it's sort of like, oh, okay, like, and then I find sometimes I, I get frustrated when people are, like, doing something that I know is not the right call, but they've never played it before. So, like, realistically, I should not expect them to know what to do and what not to do. That's part of like playing the game and figuring it out and accepting the consequences of the choices you make. That's the game. But as a viewer at home, the lizard part of my brain was like, I don't know why they threw the snowball at the bird. The, the game fully said you didn't have to do that, but they chose to do it. Like, I don't know why they would do it. Like, it would bug me. And that's when I knew I had to start taking a step back. When I realized I was not enjoying it anymore, I had to take a step back. On the flip side of that, I have been watching uh, Super Eye Patch Wolf on YouTube playing Dokapon Kingdom. Speaking of salty, um, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> I mean, one is hung up on Caden. The point is, she sounds like a high school girl playing for her crush. She's actually all. <laughs> I mean. Everybody's got, most people have a soft spot for like their choice of partner in the game. Those who decide to go into it romantically. Some people get more into it than others. She's having fun, but like I, I can understand if it's not like for you. Some people just want to do the bad thing. And yeah, that's totally their choice. Hey there, MG Tower. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Gonna give folks just another couple of minutes, but yeah, like... Sometimes it's a conscious choice. They want to, like, do something, like, kind of screwy in their game. And, like, that can be fun to see, especially if it's a choice that not a lot of players make. It's like, oh, this is something new. I never would have experienced unless I played it in the exact same way. The Undertale conundrum. Wanting the player to love the game so much that you actively prevent them from enjoying it. It is a very fine line. That is very apt. I'm saying this is somebody who has not played Undertale but has watched the fandom from the outside. Uh, that is a very apt comparison. Oh, Texas, got your watch streak going. All right, what's going on tonight? We are playing more of Persona 3, which we're going to be starting in just a quick second. My waifu's better than your waifu. Honestly, like, it's just a matter of taste. They're, the ones that are available are available for a reason. Like, Everybody's got their taste. Yes. <laughs> like, and that's why I saw, I saw it from the outside. Like, I was curious about it, and then I was seeing kind of how the fandom was reacting to it, and I'm like, you know what? I, I'm i already anticipating that I don't think I'm going to have the love for this that everybody else does. Like, I, I'm good. I trust it's a good game. I've seen people play it. I'm good. Never played any of the series, so might hang around. For sure, yeah, you're welcome to stick around. 
we're still in the early early parts of the game. So there will still be some learning curves here. We haven't hit like I feel like with these sorts of games, once you get into the middle of it, it's kind of hard to get in. So welcome. Uh, let's do online features. I still don't know what the online features do in this one. Olaf, welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well on your end. <laughs> we're not bullying people. We're we're good people. We're the new kid at school. Never finished one. Have you tried playing one? Like, is there an unfinished Persona game in your library there? We're watching the opening. heard that one's a little there's a learning curve with that one i haven't tried it but totally understandable You ruin the carpets. <laughs> oh, okay. Final Fantasy VII Re Remake Rebirth. Okay. Are there a lot of options in terms of like... Well, I know there's a lot of side quests, so I'm sure there's a lot of room for discovery there. But uh, Gabsby, to your comment, having played four Golden, five, and five Royal. And you played SMT Nocturne. That's pretty cool. I've, I've never played an SMT game. Um, I'm very firmly in the Persona hole, but just like three, four, five. Mind you, this is my first time playing all the way through three. Let's load it up. Oh, Froggy McKermit. Why did I do that? We're committing. We're committing to Froggy McKermit. Oh! Yeah, Texas. Uh... With Final Fantasy VII, like, because there's so many side quests, is the appeal of watching a bunch of them sort of seeing, like, how they approach the pacing of the game? Like, I'm, I'm just curious what what the appeal is of watching, like, a bunch of people playing Seven. I'm saying this as somebody who has not played Seven and has not watched someone play Seven. I've only seen clips on, like, TikTok. Run out of rewords before they're done with the Seven revisionism. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're good. Yukari. Hey. Oh, that's yeah. They fleshed out the characters a bit more in the in the remake. If I'm, if what I gathered is correct, made a way that you want to complete them. That's what side quests should always feel like. I'm glad they managed to do it. Kirijo Senpai said she'll be late today. I guess she's processing some paperwork for you. Here, just a quick second. My volume is a little bit loud in my ear there. Hey, try not to overdo it at school tomorrow, okay? Is anybody else around, or...? The BOG7 a bit of the first part of the remake. Okay. Did the remake not grab you, or...? I know in my case, sometimes life gets in the way and I kind of drift away from games. I can do anything with the bridge yet. Yeah. 
into three parts, first of which is as long as the original came by itself. Yeah. It's, it's a full game, from what I gather. It's gonna want ice cream, will love you. Okay. I mean, I was gonna say no to ice cream, except for the lactose intolerant people. Fridge is stuffed full of food and ingredients. There's a notice inside the fridge. Five twos, the next clearance date. The fridge might have some space on this date. Ooh. Yeah, that's a solid playthrough. Um, wait, can I do anything with the TV? Let's see what's on TV. Lactose-free people want the ice cream more. You know what? That and cheesy pizza. <laughs> and all the tourist families have had a wonderful spring. The attraction will remain in operation until May 5th, the last day of the holidays next month. Tomorrow is forecasted to be a great day for fun. Why not participate in some outdoor events? Up next is today's exchange rate. Boring. Turn it off. Over 200 going back trying to get all the stuff. All right. I honestly, kudos to you for the dedication. It's the men's room. Eh, I don't have to go. They have a variety of drinks. Maybe I'll buy some next time. But why not now? Let's see. Mac. I mean, I can just keep going here. Gives you a chance to play Sephiroth. Oh! Yeah, then why wouldn't you? Make it room. It's the girls' room. The namesake. Or, no, sorry, this is Akihiko's room. Nameplate says Sonata. There seems to be no one inside. Okay, that's my room, but I don't know. I'll, I'll head upstairs and I'll see if there's anything else here. Can I get this machine? Nope. Of course! That main? Who can say no? Kari's room. I think we checked in town earlier. There wasn't really anything for us to do. Can I go in? The door is tightly sealed. What's in this room? Oh, easily. How much conditioner it takes to make it look that good? Oof. There's a notice on the door. Do not open. If open, close it. All right, all right. Then I guess I'll go to my room then. Wasn't too into the combat. Seven was never your favorite. It's really good, but it's no Chrono Trigger or Venom for me. Yeah. I mean, certain games just tend to strike a chord with us more than others. See my normal face reflected in the mirror. Anything in the fridge? Okay, Rebirth is on PC if you want to try it out sometime. Or Remake. Okay. Like, I've been curious. Admittedly, I've... I've never played a Final Fantasy game. I think I played Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles for like an afternoon, but that's pretty much been the extent of it. Rebirth will be at some point, but not yet. Yeah, it's on the way. The fridge in here seems to have broken. I should use the one in the lounge. What? Can't I talk to the school about getting a new one? Come on. Desk is organized, but I should go to sleep early today just in case. One of these days I'll get to stay up. Let's go to bed. I should rest for today. What am I tired for? He hasn't even done anything. Anyway. Yo. Yo, long time no see. What's up? Do you have an upset stomach or something? Anyways, I got something to tell you. What happened? Actually. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to spill. Sorry man, forget you heard anything. <laughs> Come on, don't Jeez. wanna spill the tea? Jeez, Junpei. Sheesh, someone's full of energy today. I could hear you from all the way over there. Huh? Huh? You two didn't come to school together even though you're in the same dorm? Are you stupid or Ugh, something? I've heard enough about that. Anyway, mccormick are you feeling better? <laughs> Sorry to hit you with this so soon after you've recovered. 
but the chairman wants to talk to you today. Head to the dorm after school and come up to the fourth floor. Don't forget, okay? Oh, much appreciated, Texas. All good? If you're heading out, I hope you have a good night. Hold up. Why are you being called out by the chairman? What the heck did you do? It's not like that. It's nothing serious. Come on. We're gonna be late if we just stand around here talking. Have a good one. Can we call it a day? That's enough about mammoths. I don't see the big deal. They're just huge elephants. <sighs> what, what class are we in again? <laughs> well, that wraps it up for the stone- Okay. That wraps it up for the stone age. Ugh. I'm tired of these lessons about fossils. I'd rather talk about the Sengoku era. Japanese history's not exciting enough until then. But it's not what I'm paid to do, so here we are. It's not easy being an adult. This is the man wearing, like... Is that like a samurai's helmet at school? Next is the Jomin period. When did the samurai get their day in the sun? I'm so... I'll just ask a question at random and call it a day. Hmm, McCormickun. It's a classic kids on bike story with an oddly dark but not edgy sense of humor and a difficulty curve that makes SMT Nocturne look like Pokemon Sword. Oh boy, coming out for Pokemon Sword. It's true, but still. Admittedly, that's the vibe I've gotten from it. I've been meaning to play it proper. Places where people dump their waste in the Jomin period. What are they called nowadays? People where people dump their waste. Hmm. What'd it be called? I don't know what a middens is. I don't think it's a boneyard. Hovel, I think, is like a home, isn't it? Like it's almost like a Or would it be hovels? You know what, I'll... I was about to say, based on that description, that is almost like a vaguely like Stranger Things vibe. Um, I'm gonna take a guess. I, as per usual with Persona games, I don't know half the answers, so I just guess. I think a hovel is a home, so this is probably, I don't know what a middens is. Exactly. A good as chance as any. Um, let's go with middens just because I don't know what that is. Or would waste be considered? Mm. Now I'm overthinking it because it's like waste would potentially be like bodies, which would I believe go in a boneyard. Let's go with middens. Hey! No. Oh, well. <laughs> I think a hovel is sort of like, almost like a a ditch, but it's almost like, like a nest. Almost, like, think almost like a burrow, I think. I, I, pure luck. Stranger Things, but it looks like a Peanuts cartoon. Very accurate. That's right, they're called middens. The word is Scandinavian in origin and means dunghill. Eh, that didn't work. Still not interested in this at all. Ugh, I want to get to the age of katanas. Everything else is so dull. I answer correctly. Everyone in the class is looking at me with respect. Look at that. I still can't get over just like the three. I'm used to Persona 5 where it's like, you need to level up these 12 stats. It's not 12, but it feels like 12. It's the Dung Eater calls it the buffet. <laughs> oh no. Oh, the despicable Dung Eater. Uh, hey, wanna walk home together? Man, we're just fueling the rumors, aren't we? <laughs> it's too late, they're already here. <laughs> Why? Yes. We live in the same dorm and all, and I've been a little worried. What if you pass out again on the way home? Or what if shadows come to attack us? I mean, I fought them off last time. I feel responsible for that, you know? 
Let me make it up to you. Come on, let's go. She's just making sure I make it to the meeting with the chairman. Home safe. My schoolers are filled with respect for whoever answered the questions correctly. <laughs> it, it must be a Japanese high school thing. She walks you home just to make sure you go straight to bed. Honestly, the way these kids police my sleep schedule, it is crazy. Gotta take care of that narcoleptic. <laughs> it's like, look at him. He's wasting away. That's why he's falling asleep everywhere. I'm glad you're feeling okay now. Well, I guess I'll head up first. Like I said this morning, meet me on the fourth floor. The chairman should be waiting for us. What should I wear for my meeting with the chairman? Hmm? So dance, if you wanna go ahead, free to What's that? What's that thing shining on my bed? <gasps> Twilight fragment? What is that? I haven't seen anything like this before. I should hold on to it for now. I was told to go to the fourth floor today. I'd love to study, but I should go to the fourth floor. The desk is neatly organized. All right, all right. Ooh, can I do anything in the closet? It's the closet. My stuff is packed away inside. No outfits? Man, Akihiko's not home. It's never in his dorm. Okay, this is the third floor. Kari said she'd meet me there. Oh, oh there you are. There we go, no one else is here. Hey, come on, they're waiting for you inside. Oh, there they are. Ah, there you are. Is there an echo in here? Looks like you've recovered. I'm glad to see that. There are some things I need to discuss with you. That's why I asked you to see me so soon after your discharge from the hospital. Uh, please, have a seat. Oh, before that, I believe I mentioned his name before, but this is sanada -kun. Hey there. Okay, let me start off by asking you this. Would you believe me? If I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours. I would think you're crazy. <laughs> I wouldn't believe it. Or actually, you know what? This would probably be my answer. I'd be like, what? That's a reasonable reaction. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Do you remember the night you first arrived here? You had to have noticed the signs. Street lights going out, things that stopped working, the inexplicable appearance of coffins. I don't know, I just figured that's how this place goes. With so many things amiss, didn't it feel like you'd stepped into a different time? That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. I guess it's more like something people simply aren't cognizant of. But the dark hour does exist, and it occurs each night at midnight. It will happen tonight, and every night to come. So, for those who are conscious of, like, the dark hour, do they, like, would they still go through, like, the aging process? Like, or, I know they're moving, but, like... If they had 24 dark hours, would they then age an extra day compared to everybody else? Like, I'm just wondering the accumulative effect of this. Normal people don't realize it, since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. But that's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. You saw them. Those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone who roams free outside the coffins. Ah, they're the coffin police. It's our job to defeat them. Pretty exciting, huh? Akihiko, why are you always like this? <laughs> Stop having fun. You just got hurt the other day. Now, now, he does his work well in any case. 
I'll get to the point. We are the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad. C's, for short. I can see why you go with C's instead. That's a mouthful. On paper, we're classified as a school club. But in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the shadows. Mitsuru Kirijokun is the leader, and I'm the club advisor. Some okay, so I know it's a school setting, and that's why they're going with, oh, it's like a club, and it's technically classified as such. I wonder, like, I know they've got, like, a big monitoring room and stuff. That's why they were, like, watching me sleep. But at the same time, it's like, how does that look on paper, like, on the finances side of things? Like, I'm sure the chairman, like, smooths it over, but I'm just saying. It is a bandit on Sprout Hill lift. <laughs> it never goes away. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. Apathy syndrome. I'm sure you've heard of it. We sometimes refer to those who suffer from this as the lost. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. You know, the school you do as you please. <laughs> the accountant is like, uh, uh sir, Mr. Ikutsuki, I, I'm not understanding. Where there's a whole chunk of money that's missing, and it's it's a sizable amount. I mean, there are teachers paying out of pocket for their school supplies, and he's like, "Never you mind. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's uh going to charity. It's it's going towards security at the at the school." Oh, okay. Now, they're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. So, like, do people with apathy syndrome, like, act up? Because I feel like they wouldn't do anything if they're, like, basically living corpses. I know that's an oxymoron there, but you know what I mean. Like, nothing really going on upstairs, but the rest of them's moving around. What about the police? Unfortunately, the police can't do a thing during the dark hour. Except those who can also be alive during the dark hour, but they're severely understaffed. Why is Bruce Wayne buying so much military equipment for that conspicuous cave of his? It's like, it's like, shh, we don't talk about that. Oh. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> You'll see some victims of apathy syndrome eventually. Okay. Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight shadows. That's known as Persona, the power you called upon the other night. Shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. That means you are the only ones who stand a chance against them. I'm glad you're quick to understand. Honestly, I've had some string of days where I was just straight up not sleeping. That's what I felt like. I'm like, am I even alive right now? What is happening? And also, everything around you moves really fast. What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. Here's a gun. <laughs> Honestly, like, for real, Olaf, for real. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. afraid you'd say no we'd have to shoot you if you said no <laughs> glad to hear you're on board thank you so much truly oh i almost forgot about your room assignment <laughs> more regularly right now your quota oh you're not meeting it son those are rookie numbers why don't you just stay in the room you have now i don't know what the hold up is but i guess it worked out in the end <laughs> Hold up. But wasn't that Oh, never mind. I held it up on purpose. For funsies. I joined Cease to fight the shadows. Hmm? I can hear a voice ringing inside my head. <gasps> I am thou. Thou. A social link. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona 
of the Fool Archive. No, I guess not. It is, well... I was trying to remember if it was... Yeah, it was Igor in the previous ones, now that I'm recalling. Or no, it wasn't in 5. It wasn't Igor. Because it was like, uh... One of the attendants or something. It was like a higher-pitched female voice that did it. <laughs> Aw, the fool. Yes, I'm excited. This is like the OG one, too, because I don't think there were any Velvet Room attendants like pre-Persona 3. So Elizabeth is like the first one. I feel my inner strength growing. I recall what Igor said about the power of social links. Well, that's all for today. I'll follow up with you regarding our club activities later on. Yeah, because I think when I played that little bit of P3P, there was Theo, Theodore. It's like the male velvet room attendant, and it's like, oh, look at that. Checking terminology. Certain terms that have been displayed before in messages, along with their descriptions, can be viewed by opening the menu with tab, going to system, and selecting dictionary. Very helpful. Not for me, but for people who are new to the series. I apologize for gathering you all here on your precious day off. Tomorrow is Sunday, so take some time to relax. Well then, shall we end this meeting? You know what? Just like the real Velvet Room would. It's fitting. You know, because it's the weekend, shall we end? Shall we end? Get it? That's... Is, is this the running gag with Ikutsuki? No, not a single person made a comment. They just let it, like, fall flat. Right on the floor. Apparently, what would I, I ever... How have you been? I didn't invite you in, sir. Not a single person. Nobody groaned even. That's worse. Watch Deadpool's latest trailer. Um, I was watching them for a bit. If, if it came out within the last week, I missed it. <laughs> the last one I saw was one that they aired during The Bachelorette, which was pretty cute. But I have not seen any since then. Always joking around. Two days ago, then I have not seen it. But, post it on the Discord. Love to watch it. <laughs> I signed your contract. What do you want? I'm always by your side. Soon, the end will come. I remembered. So I thought I should tell you. You don't have it. Like, I, I can look it up later if... If you don't post it, all good. No, nothing of P3 besides the gun thing, but damn that teacher's sketch. <laughs> what? No, it's an authority figure who's super nice and is kind of dweeby. This is definitely not a setup. I don't actually know. Nobody spoil it for me. I just remember a Dachi from uh, Persona 4. It was very much the same kind of energy. The end. It's the end of everything, but to be honest, I don't really know much about it. Well, you're no help. More importantly, it looks like you've awakened to your power, and what an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms, yet is bound by none. It might even prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? I expect you to honor your commitment. I'm always watching you, even if you forget about me. Okay, then. See you later. Definitely not sketchy at all. It's just a kid. It's fine. Ooh, I've got a day off. It's 2009. Thank you for sharing the link. Oh. Yeah, that, it, it, not the best movie, uh, especially comparison-wise for this. 
who who was it who said are you ready jj so a full day of sleeping tomorrow did you know this i thought you were joking i i slept through my one day off <laughs> i mean it's a cute blanket and it matches the pillowcase just a normal day for <laughs> Froggy McKermitkin. If you are, could you come downstairs? Sonata Senpai's calling for us. I have not eaten all day. Apparently. Okay, he's here. So what's this about? Everyone's looking so stylish. What? Thanks for coming. There's someone I want to introduce. Hey, hurry up. Just a sec. Hey! What? Junpei? Why are you here? Don't tell me. This is Junpei Yori from Class 2F. He'll be staying here from now on. <laughs> we need more boys on the boys' dorm floor. <laughs> Honestly, like... Okay. Everybody is like dressed to the nines right now. Yukari's outfit's super cute, by the way. Um, Junpei is still just wearing his school uniform. Does he not get casual clothes? Does he not get a stylish outfit? He is my boy. <laughs> What's up? He's staying here? Are you sure there wasn't some mistake? I don't know, every, like, bro character is always my favorite in the Persona series. Anyway, for three, four, five, anyway. They're not perfect. But, love them anyway. Not today, at least. Oh, poor guy. It's in one of those cases. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. Huh. I told him about us, and he agreed to help out. Really? You have the potential? He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store. Surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I mean, fair. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. <sighs> but he said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Just don't be doing it later. Like being confused, not remembering anything. You guys know that? Yeah. <laughs> He was looking for snacks at the convenience store. Remembering anything? Oh, right. Of course. Makes sense, since your persona is there and all. Man, I still can't believe it. <laughs> Qua, I, I know exactly what you mean. It's a, it's very refreshing, this rendition of Junpei, for sure. I'm with ya. I had no idea you guys had this stuff going on, too. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one. I wouldn't really want to be doing this on my own. But you gotta be stoked, too, right? Having me join? What? <laughs> Yukari's just, like, not impressed. Uh, I guess. I mean, it'll be good to have somebody there to draw aggro, I guess. Well, enough of the introductions. Now that our forces have increased, I think we're about ready. Ooh, we gotta go do something? Sweetness! I'm getting pumped! With this many people, we can start checking out that tower. Akihiko's like, I just needed one more, baby. Just one more. Oh, you mean Tartarus. Tartar sauce? What? <laughs> it's a place that holds the key to understanding the dark hour. Or so we think. And the key. <sighs> the chairman will give us more details tomorrow night, so be ready. First, I need to get another night's sleep. Ah. Yeah, you ready to kick some ass? I'm so glad I was invited to join. Plus, the dorm's pretty cozy. 
But the best part is that we're the only ones who can fight these shat uh, enemies. Mm, pretty excited. That's right. Well, duh. Who wouldn't be stoked about fighting for justice? Though, to be perfectly honest, I ain't got a single clue what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> Come on, you got the whole speech, didn't you? Come on. But I'm sure we'll find out. They did say they'll explain everything. Oh boy, it's like, you'll learn as you go, don't worry. We're not gonna brief you. Yeah. Love the music. Oh. I'm tired. I was about to fall asleep. Wait. See, I thought maybe Junpei should have had his like little bad trip ended up in the convenience store looking for snacks today. Feels a bit more fitting. Good catch, Qua. Can I have a minute? Yeah, which to me always felt like came out of nowhere. Like, I, I always forget that happened. Hey. He was up uh, pre-celebrating. Come to the room on the fourth floor when you get back to the dorm tonight. I have something to tell you all. Oh, are we having that talk already? I'll save the details for later. See you there. It's, uh, Junpei's all about that wake and bake. I mean, at every opportunity for Shinji. At least any time. She's not like us. She's busy, you know? With the student council or whatever. I don't know. I feel like Cease is probably a bigger responsibility than student council, but maybe that's just me. Whoa, Yukatan, do I sense some hostility? It's not that I don't like her, it's just... I don't know. Like, you're the only two on the girls' like dorm floor there. You just haven't hung out okay. or chatted. School day's finally over. They're probably waiting for us at the dorm, right? Let's hurry back. Am I gonna get to stay up tonight? That would be nice. Mm. <laughs> finally made it. Believe the accident delayed our train so much. It's already dark out. Honestly, I've been no, caught in like people jumping onto the tracks. I was about to say, like, oh yeah, you know, like transit delay is the worst. But uh mind you, I don't know if most of mine are caused from this same thing or not. This apathy syndrome thing's getting out of control. It's like the whole world's falling apart. Crap! Everyone else is there already! We better hurry! Oh man, I'm getting kinda hungry. We're supposed to be at the dorm! It's small rocks! So many places to chow down! Plus, they're open late. I wouldn't know anything about that. I go to bed at 5 p.m. every day in this game. Speaking of, I heard the ramen joint upstairs has a secret late night menu. Oh man, please don't tease me. Yeah, yeah. You're late. Everyone's here. Heck yeah! Let's get right into it! Now, I'd like your undivided attention. For a long time, Kirijo-kun and Sanada-kun were the only Persona users we had. But that number has recently jumped to five. So here's the plan. Oh, interesting. What was your argument for that? Starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like us to finally begin exploring Tartarus. Oh, hey there, Duke. Welcome to the chat, and welcome to the stream. How are you doing tonight? Uh, so, I asked this yesterday, but what is that Tartar thing again? 
It's Tartarus. You seriously haven't seen it, Junpei? Uh, I mean... Man, doesn't that figure? I only, In this game, I only get to stay up late when they want to, like, send me into a tower to end up in a dangerous situation. It's true. It is tartar sauce. It's no surprise you haven't seen it. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour, after all. I'm enjoying it. I played a little bit of P3P back in the day. I didn't get to finish it, and I admittedly didn't get too far. So when they announced this remake got very excited. So I'm very excited to be jumping into it now. Only during the dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? I, I feel like when Junpei was initially brought in, he was like really playing up that like, oh yeah, I've already been briefed on everything. And so now it's like, oh yeah, it's like the dark hour. He's like, I'm sorry, the what? Um, I, I need access to that dictionary in the systems menu, excuse me. But mind you, if Akihiko was the one in charge of briefing him, like, he was just like, eh, it's not important, you'll figure it out later. The goal of our club, Seas, is to fight those shadows. However, simply defeating the shadows during the dark hour isn't enough. Oh. We must get to the root of the problem. We need to destroy the dark hour itself. Okay, so it isn't a thing that's just been around forever. Like, it's a thing that I suppose started at some point? Uh, nah, I don't really get it. <laughs> well, I mean, fair. You're saying if we run around Tartarus, we can somehow get rid of the Dark Hour? We don't know for certain. Sorry I can't give you a better answer. But investigating the mysteries of that tower is part of our job. I mean, that's a big claim to make and then be like, well, I mean, I don't know all the answers. The bottom line is, we need more information. Everything we encounter there will be a vital clue for us. The exploration of Tartarus is of utmost importance. Consider it our top priority. Our society, while remaining blissfully unaware of the shadows, slowly but surely succumbing to their influence just a quick second just making a slight audio adjustment here i would go as far as to say that the fate of the world rests on the shoulders of you persona users that's one hell of a responsibility but the heroes of justice will prevail He's like, I only just got here and I don't know how anything works, but I am basically the captain. It's also the perfect spot for us to train and improve our skills. I want to punch some shadows. Tar gently weeps, favorite Beatles song. He also did something, Here Comes the Sun, I Be Mine, during the Beatles days. Solo career was the strongest before. Don't think any of them were as good solo as they were together, though. I mean, like, I'm in agreement. Each of them had, like, their own, like, at least one signature song where it's like, oh, this is my solo song. Some of them had more of those than others, but, like, I, I did like George Harrison's songs for sure. I know, he's got the energy. He's just, he's just excited to be involved. Finish the game once. No worries, won't give any spoilers. Much appreciated. Say the rules. Help let me know. All right. I'm at a pretty good pace so far, but if things get sticky, I will, I will turn to Chad. That place is like a nest of shadows, you know. Whoa, their nest, huh? But Senpai, what about your injury? The band-aid. Akihiko's still recovering from his wounds. He'll accompany us, but won't participate in the exploration. <sighs> yeah, I know. He's so upset. Oh, Junpei's got your backs. Admittedly, like, I feel like all the best friend characters in, like, Persona 3, 4, and 5 always kind of have that just because they're the ones who are, like, more involved in the conversations. So while they do have their own, like, key character hijinks, during group scenes like this, they're also usually the audience insert. I think Yosuke was probably, like, the strongest audience insert out of the three of them. I think Ryuji's still my favorite, though. I like Junpei. He's human with dying. He honestly is. 
He's just like, like tails wagging. He's just so thrilled. I'm not so sure about this. Meanwhile, Yukari's got like cat energy. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. <laughs> Where it's nice and safe. <laughs> not much point anyway, since I can't summon a persona. So not safe. We're here? Back on campus. Uh, what's going on? Why are we at school? Well, it's time for class, Junpei. Didn't you do your homework? Just wait and see. It's almost midnight. I mean, it's 420. We didn't smoke anything before this, did we? Let me repeat the last thing that was said. That's... <laughs> that is a good trope. That's a fun one. Huh? Uh. Man, which of them saw it doing this first? It was like, uh, what? This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. Labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, <laughs> everything will return to normal. This is the nest you were talking about? What? It's just a Tartarus. Just a Tartarus? What? Why? Why not school turn into a giant tower? So why not? You don't know either? <laughs> JP is like, you guys are acting like you knew everything, but then you're just like, yeah, like the school just kind of does this sometimes. No explanation. No. Nope. I'm sure it's complicated. If we don't know, We'll just have to find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This will be our first time exploring it. Exciting, huh? There's gotta be something in there. Hopefully some sort of clue about the dark hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be exploring it today. He's like, oh man, like puts his hands in his pockets and like kicks the ground. He's like, mm. I want to go in there and punch things. I know. You don't have to keep reminding me. So this is Tartarus. In any case, we decide to enter the tower. Wow. It's just as crazy on the inside. <laughs> He's got a little boo-boo, that's all. Sure is creepy, though. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of these stairs. First, you need to get a feel for the place. Why don't the three of you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. I'll help you navigate by feeding you information from here. We'll also need to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. Now oh, is Junpei gonna be like, ooh, ooh, pick me, pick me. A leader? Like, the captain of a pirate ship? Oh, is that gonna be- is it captain? Is captain the name we're going with? I'm in! Me, 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 pick me! <sighs> okay, you're just being like, no. Not you. You're in charge. Yeah! look like a captain? I mean, neither do you. Calm down. He has experience fighting already. Wait, seriously? That's true, too, but the main reason is far more simple. Junpei, and you too, Takeba. Can either of you summon your persona without difficulty like he can? I mean, I did it once. <laughs> That's true. 
He's got a hat. It says Captain in it. Big light up letters. Yeah, of course I can. Jinpei Lap Dog Akihiko Guard Dog. Honestly, yeah, that's accurate. I buy that. I mean, once you've got the outfit, you're basically it. You're Me looking too. the part. These are shadows we're talking about. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. All right, let's head inside. Are you ready, leader? Yep, let's go. <laughs> That's the spirit. Oh, the velvet key in my hand is shining. What's the matter? Hmm? Strange door is sitting in the corner of the lobby. I always wonder what happens to them when they go into the velvet room. I've been waiting for you. Because the others can't see them going through a door. Like, are they just standing there just like drooling? Like, are they like... <laughs> what is the rest of the party seeing? Yeah, I'm just gonna stand in the corner. <laughs> Don't look. The time has come for you to wield your power. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Yes, Igor is here in Persona 3. Regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. Do you want to tell me? That is why you must be made aware of something before you go any further. You must understand the nature of your power. Hmm. Your power is unique. It is like the number zero. Empty. But at the same time, holding infinite possibilities. You, my boy are able to possess multiple personas and summon them at will. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. So not only is time frozen during the dark hour, it's also frozen within the dark hour when I go in the, into the velvet room. <laughs> I mean, that's just the man's nose. It's, it's how he can sniff out your potential. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. Now then, my spare time will soon be scarce. Oh, yeah, that's understandable. Yeah. Um, Igor is definitely speaking in a different pitch in Persona 5, so that's... Yeah. See, I played 4 first, and I played it quite a few times before 5 came out, so this is, like, the kind of Igor I'm used to hearing. Like, to me, this is like coming home. Next time, once again, may you open the door and come here of your own accord. Totally fair, yeah. I'll tell you then about my true role, the manner in which I can best assist you. Until we meet again. Farewell. Igor is, is a man just full of lies. Look at that face. That's not the face of an innocent man. Hey, are you alright? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. Okay, so you do space out. What door? Huh? What door? Man, are you loco? They don't seem to see the door. Have you been nodding off? You seem kinda out of it. Well, I mean, I am up past my bedtime. Dude, you're supposed to be our leader. Get your head in the game. Man, he just wants to take my role. I mean, it, we'll be it following is you. Horrible. Come on, let's go. I mean, yeah, the resemblance is there. Actually, I was... 
because uh, it is online now. I was tempted to rewatch it the other night, but I forgot it was like two hours long, and I was like, it's like if it was an hour and a half, I'd probably sit down and watch it again. I was talking about it with some friends over the weekend, and it was sort of we were trying to. None of us 100% like understood the boy in the harem, but I enjoyed it for the vibes, if that makes sense. <laughs> I gotta do my research before my second watch of it for sure. Better equip some anti secure at some point. Just, just give a little. What is Junpei doing? My my boy is is swinging. What is? And up to bat, home run. You can open the menu by pressing tab. Accessing the menu will allow you to view your and your allies' statuses and personas, as well as use skills and items. I did too. Spirited Away is probably my top, like, movie of his. Like, it's the one I enjoyed the most, for sure. And I've kind of felt the same sort of energy while watching The Boy and the Heron, so I think it's like, it like tickled that one part of my brain. Um, I'm playing on easy currently. Um, wait, did I decide on, oh shoot, was it on easy or was it on medium? There, there was some deliberation, I'm trying to remember. Because it does let you change it. I think I chose medium with the option to go to easy. Or... Dang it. I know it was just last week. <laughs> why is my why is my memory so bad? Uh, it's 420. Um, yeah, thank you. Easy until I see how well I do. Exploring Tartarus, you can save at locations where you can change your party. However, you cannot save on the floor you're currently exploring. The Boy and the Heron is very much a plot light, whimsy, heavy movie. Loved it for it. Same. I didn't understand 100% of what was going on. I was able to pick up on, I feel like, a good chunk of it. So I kind of want to rewatch it just to see. I'm like, maybe I'll pick up something new this time. <laughs> is, is that madness mode? You can save from the menu or by pressing H. Okay. Uh, what is this? What a large clock. It doesn't seem to be working, though. Here, let's... What's this? Giant device. What is this? I've never seen something like, like it before. Regardless, it doesn't seem to be functioning right now. All right. Give it a shot later. Hmm... So, this is Tartarus. Hell yeah! Alright, let's do this. I'll prove that I should be in charge. Oh, okay, he's just trying to usurp me. Backstabber. Hey. Remember, Takuma and Junpei have no real battle experience, so make sure you back them up. Hmm. Don't worry, I won't push you too hard. You'll be just fine. Alright, let's... Can I sit here? Yes, I can. Boy and the Heron coming out the same year was great. I really enjoyed Godzilla Minus One. Excellent. Two excellent movies. All right. Are you all ready? I'm ready. Let's get in there. Good luck. Oh. I'm like, has somebody already been here? So real deal from here on, huh? Looks easy to get lost in. Can you all hear me? Whoa! Is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Keep that in mind. Just got everywhere. Wait, are you saying you can see this place from all the way out there? It's my persona's ability. The structure of Tartarus actually changes from day to day. I'd like to join you up there, but we need someone to provide outside support. That's even more concerning. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any time. All this right. shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. You'll get the hang of it as you go. Right. Got it. Why is she always like that? Man, Yukari's starting gossip immediate like she's she can hear us. Man, everybody's got like a chip on their shoulder and something to prove. Right. Let's begin. 
Defeat all the shadows on that floor. I'll support you as much as I can, but it's up to you to learn something out there. All right, how do I... Yeah, dash. Oh, attack. Oh, that's control. Ooh. Wait, oh, it's this one? Ooh, I'm gonna change that. Hold on a minute. She is such a hater, honestly. A roguelike. <laughs> yeah, not quite. Um, uh, config? Let's see. Key configuration. Yeah, I gotta go with something else. Let's see. Okay. Mail attack? Okay. Uh, shift is fine. Is Q being used for anything? No, who would do that, right? Or actually, um, here, one second. Mm. No? <gasps> okay, because I do have some buttons like on my on my mouse. I'm like, oh, maybe I can. Can I click? No? Okay, what else can I? So I want it to be something that's easily accessible. You know what, let's do go with Q and roll with it. Overwrite it? Yes. I'm not gonna use the scroll. I can pretty much guarantee that. Okay. Let's give this a try. Alright, save changes. That's fine. Oh. What do we still have left? Oh, that one. Um, scroll page. Um, there we go. I'll give it T because I'm never gonna use it. <laughs> so, watch me eat my words. All right, let's give her a go. There we go. So new design. Hobby game development, mailing games on gamepad, and really hard time mapping for keyboard and mouse. I mean, completely fair. This is just like the unfortunate way my brain has rewired itself. It's it's keyboard and mouse or bust for me, honestly. I can do controller for certain games, and I have played Persona games on a controller in the past. But if I'm playing it on PC, I'm probably gonna just play it with keyboard and mouse. Anything up here? Oh, hello. Looking at me? Good enough for now, maybe before next stream, go in and tweak it. Maybe. Hold on. There's a shadow up ahead. I know, I see him. I was going right for him. This is the first real battle for Takeba and Diori. Proceed with caution. All right. Let's start by going over uh, how to attack right. shadows. When faced with an enemy, you have two primary options for fending them off. The first option is to use your equipped weapon. Honestly, I found Persona 5 to be, like, really stressful in, like, the sneaking around mechanic. I know, like, the game gives you, like, a lot of tools for doing it well, and it rewards you for doing it, but I always found it very stressful. The second option is to use your And I know it's a me problem. But remember... Every persona has its own strengths and weaknesses. Knowing how personas work will be crucial. Try summoning yours right now. Choose whether to use attack or skill on your enemies. You can attack with whatever weapon you have currently equipped on you. While it doesn't do the most damage, it will not deplete your HP or SP. 
launch an attack by selecting the target and pressing the space bar. On the other hand, using the skill will deplete your HP or SPs. To use one, press E, then select the skill you want to use and the target you want to use it on. It's more mementos coded, it really is. Ooh, miss. Looks like I'm up. You don't. Check this out. Look at him go. Hey there, Kay. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well tonight. Orpheus, level two. Well done, Iori. Considering it was your first battle, you did well. Talk about two. You'll be fine. She didn't do anything. Don't be afraid to show what you can do. Got it. Yeah, well. Good. Let's continue exploring. Here we go. Tab. That'd be under equip, I guess. Looks like I can't do anything for that right now, unless it's in a different menu. Skill, item, persona, the under stats? It says party. Okay, I don't think I can do that for now, but I'll keep an eye out for it. Not system? Oh! Usually it's under like a party menu. Here we go. Let's give it a quick look see. Tutorial, configuration, dictionary. No. Oh, hello. Okay, what do we got for dash? Oh, I was another shadow that. up ahead. Let's get you more accustomed to combat. Battle's about to begin. Everyone, stay focused. All right. Next, let's go over a useful approach for defeating enemies. Most enemies have an elemental affinity that they have low resistance to. Targeting weaknesses is one of the best ways to deal damage. Not only that, it can also knock enemies down. Knocking down an enemy creates an opening, letting you continue your offense. Oh, it's always such a great feeling when you figure out, like, if you get it on the first try, you down them. It's so good. Weaknesses, huh? Done. I'll show you how it's done. Wait. Let me handle this one. Just point it to my head and pull the trigger. I can do this. Yes. Oh, you're not so bad yourself, Yukitan. That's it, Takaba. You give it a try as well. Each skill and attack has an affinity, and enemies will have weaknesses towards certain affinities. Attacking an enemy with its weakness will deal more damage than usual, but will also knock down the enemy. When an enemy is down, you'll be able to attack one more time. Use this extra turn to knock down a different enemy, you can attack one more time again. As long as you keep knocking the enemies down, you'll be able to attack continuously. Alright. Well done. You struck the enemy's weakness. Keep that up and finish off the rest. What to do? You're so bad. There we go. They leveled up. Oh, I did it! Fantastic work, Takeba. You performed as well as I hoped you would. Totally. I can take my eyes off you. Can you try not being a creep? Great. Looks like everyone's gotten used to handling their personas. Leader, take note of each member's strengths and conduct the battle accordingly. 
can still sense some enemies around. Let's move on. Hmm. It's Junpei's element. No Yukari's is wind. Okay. Yeah. I wonder how far we can get without losing contact with Kirijo Senpai. No? I was wondering if there was maybe like a secret path there. Oh, it's a chest. Some kind of boxy looking thing. Yes, boxes like those seem to be scattered all throughout Tartarus. Sometimes they contain useful items for battle. Seek them out as often as you can. That those are clearly somebody's supplies, though. Oh, sweet! So they're basically like treasure chests. <laughs> Let's steal! Hell yeah! Let's bust it open and see what's inside. Treasure, treasure chests in Tartarus contain items, money, and other loot that will make exploration easier. There are many types of treasure chests, each with different contents inside. You especially want to keep an eye out for special items that can only be obtained from treasure chests. That looks like it'll be useful. It's up to you to decide how to use it. Well, I'm not going to worry about it for right now. If you get injured while exploring Tartarus, you can use items and skills to restore HP or SP. Open the tab, select item, choose recovery item like medicine or life stone, then choose a party member. Skills work in a similar way. Start by opening the menu, select skill, and make a recovery skill such as Dia, then choose party member. <laughs> what? Never heard of it. A box? It's best to prioritize Bragi's HP so that he doesn't faint while exploring. Everyone else can go to hell. Alright. I don't think there's anything over this way. I know, I'm fully expecting them to be hiding behind Aye. pillars. Yo, is this really the school? Like, no joke? Kind of funny if we were actually inside our classroom right now, huh? Here, what do we got? Ooh! Revival bead, alright. That's useful. Oh, there we go. Let me hit it! Shadow detected. Looks like they haven't noticed you yet. Now's your chance. Try sneaking up on them from behind. Make sure you stay out of their field of vision. Types of attacks and encounters. You can swing your sword by pressing Q while exploring to slash an enemy. Doing so will start combat. Striking an enemy from behind will trigger a chance encounter where you have the advantage at the start of combat. The enemy attacks you first, a pinch encounter will occur, placing you at a disadvantage. Get into the habit of initiating chance encounters to gain the upper hand for an easy victory. You can still swing your sword even when there are no enemies present, so you'll be able to practice and test your sword's range. Ooh. You gotta get close. Next, I'm going to explain a tactic for defeating several enemies at once. First, go ahead and strike an enemy's weakness. I'll keep track of tactical data, such as any enemy weaknesses you've identified. If you ever forget an enemy's affinities, just let me know and I'll get that data for you. I, I, for some reason in my mind, I'm sure she has a computer for this, but my brain is picturing like, Mitsuru, what's the weakness? And she's like bringing out this heavy book and it's like, uh, oh yeah, it's fire. Pressing Q will allow you to view the affinities of the selected enemy. The different affinities are Slash, Strike, Pierce, Fire, Ice, Electricity, Wind, Light, and Dark. The amount of damage inflicted depends on the enemy's affinity. A known affinity has not yet been used against an enemy. Weak, more damage dealt, and knockdown possible. Honestly, like, Fire's got a pretty good win rate. Resist, damage is halved. No, no damage taken. Repel damage is deflected and inflicted on the one who initiated it. Drain damage is absorbed by the target and heals them instead. I'll go with it's gonna be an all-out attack. All right, now knock down the other one. That's when you perform an all-out attack. An all-out attack? It's a maneuver that engages the entire team in a coordinated assault. <laughs> yeah, she's got the strategy guy in front of her. Down. Naturally, the enemy has no way of defending against this. It's one of the most reliable means of attack. Whoa! That sounds so badass! Let's give it a try right now! 
Knock down every enemy, you'll get the chance to execute an all-out attack that will deal significant damage to all enemies. Once an all-out attack is possible, there will be a prompt asking whether or not you want to initiate it. Press C to cancel and space to perform an all-out attack. Choose wisely depending on the situation. If you are afflicted with a status ailment or if you're the only one mobile at the time, then an all-out attack cannot be executed. If any party members members afflicted with a status ailment at the time of an all-out attack, they will not be able to join in. This will reduce the amount of damage dealt to enemies. Attack. Shuffle? After a battle is won, shuffle time may occur. Oh my gosh, when was the last time I saw a shuffle time? <laughs> she's like she's like the DM. She's just like, gotta get everybody involved in this adventure, guys. During shuffle time, different types of cards formed by the possibilities within your soul will appear. You can choose one of these cards. Each type of card has a different effect. Persona, acquire a new persona. Wand, increases experience. Cup, activates battle support effects. Sword, obtain a skill card. Coin, obtain money. The more one mores you get in battle, the higher the chance shuffle time will occur. If you end the battle with an all-out attack, shuffle time will always occur. Alright. I mean, I just got the one, so I will take it. Acquired the Persona Apsaras. Done and dusted. <laughs> oh, leveled up. Nice. Ooh, Dia. Okay, we got a little bit of healing. How'd you like our all-out combo attack, you filthy shadows? When I saw my opening, it's like my body just knew what to do. That was magnificent teamwork. It's hard to believe it's your first time. As you grasp the flow of battle, you'll learn to coordinate with each other seamlessly. Let's apply what we've learned so far and continue exploring. All right. Okay. Interesting. Hit a dead end. Ooh. Yeah, scared me too. Jeez. All right, let's get that treasure. We got some medicine. Oop. See us? Oop. Dang it. I detect another shadow up ahead. Take advantage of what you just learned. Try not to alert the enemy as you move. mechanic of Nocturne and P5 gives the random monster's personality. I like that as well. I will say, admittedly, I don't know if it's just like my own like social anxiety, but I feel like I biff those like half the time because I'm like, here's what you want to hear, and half the time they're just like, you're just telling me what I want to hear, and I'm like, I'm sorry, you're a shadow. I don't know what you want. Oh, I just noticed the chair is the same as my persona. I can feel a new potential within myself. Change personas. If you have multiple personas in your possession, you can use change persona to swap out your equipped persona with another in your stock. Changing personas will also change your stats, affinities, and usable skills based on the persona you switch to. During battle, open the Persona submenu to view skills, then press T or E to change Persona's- Oh, I told you I was gonna eat my words. I, I changed it to something silly. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out a better combo for the pages. 
can also change your equipped persona outside of battle by pressing tab to open the menu, then navigate into the persona submenu. You can change personas at any time, but in battle you can only do so before taking action that turn. Didn't I fully say out loud I'm definitely gonna, like, regret changing it? <laughs> yeah, see, look at that. That makes no sense now. Okay, let's go, let's go with Ayas. Let's use Bufu. Your persona just now. It looks like you really do have a special power. Oop. Got it. shuffle time. Okay. Be acquired will increase, obtain money, restore 50% of your maximum HP. Yeah. Obtain one of the skill card Holy Arrow. Hmm, I do like a good skill card. And it would be nice to have. I'm assuming this is a light move. So, you know what? Let's take the skill card. Mask of Cruelty. The enemy has been defeated. Excellent work. Um, was that? Well, it looks like he has the ability to summon different personas. Or maybe his persona is a shapeshifter. We just don't know. Oh, I didn't catch what it was. I'm assuming it was 69. I suspected after the events from the other day, but now we know for sure. I got 69 right. XP on 420. Man, it's just... The pieces are falling into place, my friends. There's a device nearby that will teleport you back. Look around for it. There should also be some stairs nearby, but I can't approve any more exploration right now. We'll explore the upper floors next time. Oh, but we're so close! Occasionally, you will encounter one-way teleporters in Tartarus that can be used to return to the entrance. Keep in mind that since these teleporters are only one way, you cannot return to the same floor where it was used. Here. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna... Really quick. it under common. There it is. Okay. Scroll page left, scroll page right. Okay. So that's E. Maybe you can change it. Is R taken? Man, there's always something. Um... Wait, hold on. Let me try something. Alright, scroll left. No! Okay, that's not working. Interesting. Can I use this one? Oh! Okay. Yeah, let's try. There we go. There. Conflict has been dealt with. And it's gonna be outside of battle, so it's not like I'm gonna need to, like, flip through it on the time limit. It's fine. We're good. We're cooking now. Hey! I found some stairs! Wait! We're looking for the teleporter, aren't we? Exactly what Takeba said. Please prioritize getting back safely for now. Oh, the stairs are right there! Akihiko would let us use the stairs. Uh, 
Oh, do I need Look, a key? That treasure chest looks different from the one before. Yes, that particular box is sealed in a special way. The box can be unlocked by its own mechanism, but it needs something else to work during the dark hour. Oh, the twilight fragment I found in my room seems to be reacting. What's that you got there? Not just a glowing rock I found in my room. I wonder. That reaction. Do you have a twilight fragment with you? Try holding up to the treasure chest. Special luck treasure chests can be unlocked with twilight fragments. The amount you need will vary from chest to chest, so you'll want to collect as many as you can. The number of twilight fragments I have is one. One should use and one should open it. Let's go. Ooh, snuff soul. Okay. Not bad. Ah, uh, I thought that's what it was. Yeah, you couldn't have told me before. That's a twilight fragment. They can be used on devices throughout Tartarus. You might find more in Tartarus or other locations with traces of shadows. You mean in my room? If you come across any going forward, you'll want to take them. Okay. And down that way, so... Here it is. I guess we're going in the teleporter. Gotta Looks like leave. you found a teleporter. Mom says we gotta go home. Now use it to return to the entrance. But what if I don't want to? Should I return to the entrance? I have no choice. Let's head back. Welcome back. So, how was it? It still- it surprises me every time. It'll hit a point where it won't surprise me anymore and I won't laugh. Uh, that day is a long time coming still. Your bed misses you. You've been away from your bed for two whole hours. Are you okay? I'm exhausted. It must have hit you all at once. Don't worry. You'll get used to it. Wow! I never knew I had that kind of power, but damn, why do I feel so exhausted? It's not just me. Because you were bouncing around like a little kid. I mean, she's right. You say that, but you look pretty tired yourself, Yukatan. This is different. It's like I'm having trouble breathing. Oh, that's not good. What's going on? That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Don't worry. You'll get used to it. I have to say, though, I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. <laughs> we'll see about that. By combining my powers with the teens, I was able to stand against the shadows. I sense a strong bond with them. Mm -hmm. Rank up socially. Just like Yukari and Junpei, I feel tired as well. Looks like the original PS2 version, story-wise. Oh! Hey there, Kronos! Hope you're doing well tonight! The original, story-wise. Yeah! I mean, I imagine story-wise they're not going to change up anything too much. I decided it would be best to return to my room and rest. I mean, in this case, it's okay my character's tired and wants to go to bed. Like... But, like, my guy was going to bed at 5 p.m. after going to school all day. Like, I know gym class is tiring, but, like, dang. Okay, how's everybody feeling? <laughs> Dude, I can't take it anymore. I'm starving. So, we getting ramen, or what's, what's happening here? <sighs> I'm exhausted. Let's call it a day, okay? Akihiko! Mm. You guys did a great job, but you won't have to shoulder the burden forever. I'll help you out too, just as soon as this damn injury is healed. All right. From now on, you'll be selecting party members to join you in exploring Tartarus. I'll explain in detail some other time. Try the end. You did well today. Now let's head back to the dorm. Okay. Here, let's take this opportunity to do a quick save. And let's head back and go to sleep. 
Not bad. Excellent work. I have high hopes for our future expeditions. The Dark Hour will be ending soon. After returning from Tartarus, the Dark Hour will end. This will start the next day. Use this time wisely to recuperate for your next expedition. The structure of Tartarus will have changed by your next expedition. Treasure chests you have already found can be rediscovered as well, so returning could be a good idea if you find yourself stuck. Salut. Let's finish up here. Does that sound good to you? Yeah, we're done here. All right, rest up and come prepared for our next expedition. Ah, uh, 420's over. Yo! Hey, you're in 2F, right? What's with that weary look in your eye? I'm Kenji Tomochika. We're in the same class. I've never seen you before in my life. What do you want? Um, here, I'll sing. Yeah, you too. I heard from Miori that you're pretty close with Takuma-san. Is that true? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm looking for someone with a little more experience anyway. Okay. Little boy. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh crap, it's almost time for the morning assembly. Come on, we better hurry. That concludes the main portion of today's assembly. Next, we'll hear a word from the student council. Oh boy, I can't wait for him to never get better. Please welcome the new president, Mitsuru Kirijo, from Class 3D. Thank I know you. her! So she did get elected. Well, I guess she is the most popular girl in school. Yukari is such a hater! You can say that again. She's got this intimidating vibe around her. <laughs> Dummy mommy energy. Not to mention... This school's owned by the Kirijo group, right? Oh, she's a Nepo baby. As I begin my term as student council president, I'd like to share with you my vision for this coming year. It is my firm belief that each of us must accept the responsibility of bettering our school. However, change cannot occur without sustained effort and an unprecedented level of commitment. That is why we must restructure our daily lives in order to rise to this challenge. Man, she is intense as, like, the student council president. I don't know if it's just, like, the role has a lot more power in, like, Japan, or if it's just this interpretation of it. I don't know. I just remember my own schools, like, like the high school council, and, like, they had no power. No, sorry. They did have some deciding power when it came to prom, and prom was terrible. <laughs> so maybe, maybe they shouldn't have had that power. I'm just saying. I'd like each of you to dig deeply into your well of motivation and reevaluate your convictions. Like this is an intense speech. Strive to imagine a bold new future without losing sight of the realities around you. That is the key. Sorry, now I'm sounding like Yukari. I'm not trying to be a Mitsuru hater. I promise. My own ideas are but one person's vision. For us to reap the full benefits of our education, your participation, opinions, and enthusiasm are essential. Thank you. Dang. What a speech. Do you, uh, have any idea what she just said? Y you fell asleep, didn't you? No, I probably fell asleep. Just as much as I hate him, Sukari. I'm not. Honestly, I'm impressed. Like, Mitsuru is very well put together. That was a very good speech. I'm just saying, like, that's kind of intense for, like, a student council president. Like, speech. I don't know. Maybe my faith in high schoolers is, is too low. Who knows? <laughs> I'm not a hater, I promise. I'm a girl's girl, guys. Um, do you have any idea what she just said? <laughs> okay, so there's none of these answers are like, yes, I was locked in. I understood a single word that she was preaching up there. I'll, I'll say sort of. 
sure didn't sound like something a high schooler would say. I, I, I mean, I mean, I, I hate saying Junpei is right, but <laughs> player insert strikes. If it was anyone else, we'd be laughing our asses off. I do want to get to know her better. I want to get to know my whole team. Okay, time for class. All right, today we'll be looking at some Meiji era literature. Open your textbooks to page 12. Oh boy, I can't wait for this pop quiz question that I have no idea the answer to. You know what? I'm sick of this story. I already went over it in the last. Man, all these teachers are tuned out. I got a great poem we can discuss instead. Close your textbooks, everyone, and listen to this. Isolated cloud, suspended over the tall, snowy mountain peak. Isolated cloud, suspended over the tall. Okay, it is a haiku. This school system's in shambles, honestly. I mean, like, the head of the school is busy, like, recruiting children for his army. He doesn't care what the teachers are doing. I'm feeling sleepy. Ooh, should I close my eyes for a few minutes? If I get caught though. I'm gonna stay awake. What even? Mm. Hey, Tomochika, better not be sleeping back there more for stat boosting. I know, and I was tempted to for the stats, but... You should be ashamed of yourself napping while I pour my heart into this reading. And that was my thought process. I'm like, she is reading a poem that she is passionate... She has thrown the lesson plan out the window to read you this poem that means so much to her. If you fall asleep... Oh, really? Oh! You're getting another essay on top of the regular assignment tonight. I expect a slice of cake when you turn it in, too. And don't cheap out with the store-bought stuff like last time. What, you want You want a high school boy's homemade cake? I don't think so. I forced myself to stay awake and listen to the lecture. And I became smarter for it. Still a slacker, though. Wanna stop by Paulonia Mall on the way back? That's not actually the name of it, is it? Might wanna stock up while we can, since we got stuff going on at night. There's a pharmacy there too. Couldn't hurt to get some meds in case anything happens. You bet I am. If we don't step up to the plate, who will? I mean, he's got a point. The chairman said it himself. The fate of the world depends on us. I'm sorry, the name is just like, where, where does that come from? Let's go, leader. First task, escape from the school. Look, it's the Madison Boys! <laughs> Everyone loves Akihiko. Paul owned Yamal. I mean, that's as good a, that's as good an explanation as any. I'm sorry, gaudy student? Oh no, how insulting. Have you noticed how popular Sonata-san is with the ladies? Man, take a look at that. I guess neither of us really got to know him before all this crazy stuff happened. He's a captain of the boxing team. Never lost a single match. I know that's cool and all, but... I mean, if I fought him though, I'd definitely win. Like, Junpei to me seems like the type of guy who'd be like... You know what? I feel like I could take him. Like, never thrown a punch in his life, but confidence, like, up here. Who'd have thought boxing would turn you into a chick man? I mean, come on! They're fawning on him more than a harem monster. I wonder where they're going. Hey, are you guys free this afternoon? Huh? Uh, us? Yeah, I mean, hell yeah! We'd love to join your little, uh group here. 
<laughs> Jubei is just like, just like the biggest clinger on right now. <laughs> you know what? As the setup for the joke, I'm gonna say, what about the fate of the world? Ah, don't be lame. Even heroes need some rest now and then, you know? Well, are you free or not? Yeah, of course. Uh, no problemo. I want the two of you to meet me at Polonia Mall. You know where it is, right? I'll be waiting at the police station. Got it? But you're not a cop yet. The, the police station? You mean, we're not hanging out with your friends? Who? These girls? No, I don't even know their names. Hearing so much chit chat gives me a headache. Oh my god. Ferocious. Like, devastating. Anyway, I'm going on ahead. Don't keep me waiting. Oh man, and those girls have like no self-respect either. They're just like, they're... Honestly, I would have pieced out. I would have gotten pissed off. Ugh, gross girls. Don't you guys know? They have cooties. <laughs> Honestly. Still, hook, line, sinker. Man, how can he not know their names? I mean, seriously, just look at them. You got the opposite, opposite ends of the spectrum here. You got Akihiko, who could not care less, and you've got Junpei, who could not care more. Uh, anyway. Sonata asked us to meet him at the Polonia Mall Police Station. Junpei and I decided to head over. I brought you guys to the police station to a wrist. Well, I was just headed there myself. You know the place, right? Let's go. Uh, hold on. There's someone I can talk to here. I'm waiting for my boyfriend. We're going to Gakure. Good for you! Sonata is not as a narc, honestly. <laughs> no, Junpei, that's... Aww. I mean, it fits in with the dog energy. You know how every school has at least one mystery that no one can solve? There's one here too, you know? Like the sculpture in the art room that moves by itself. It sounded cooler in my head. Man, he's just making up rumors. <sighs> the fawning student continues to sigh. Uh, Akihiko went that way. I have this strange feeling that someone's watching me. Oh, she's watching him! Oh my god! Maybe it's just my imagination. I believe it. I believe in you, girl. I thought the curriculum was the narc collecting. <laughs> we, we've got narcs of many kinds in the seas. Let's see, we want to go to Paloya Mall. This almost reminds me of like the little mall complex from what's it? Animal Crossing City Life? Oh, hello. Who are you? Everywhere you look, you see young couples. Well, what are you waiting for? Go after someone. You're still young. You've got no excuse not to be together with some girl. Excuse me, sir, I'm gay. No, like just like the general layout of it like and also like the little upstairs bit like that was where my brain went through went first both games might have come out around the same time what a fantastic coincidence are you here for the arcade if you want to know more about games i can tell you all about them yeah we don't have free time yet we haven't even unlocked all the girls yet sure tell me about games Today, you can play either House of the Deceased or Real Wheel Racer. House of the Deceased is pretty scary. You'd increase your courage if you can stand it. Real Wheel Racer requires a nimble finger work, so it increases your agility. That about covers it. Okay. Very interesting. What else? Who else is here? Oh! <gasps> we can hear the housewives gossiping. Oh my, how did I forget to buy shampoo? No rush, just wait for the sale. 
game came out in 2006. City Folk was in 2008. City Folk stole it. It's definitely not just a coincidence. But I'm just saying, like, the layout, very similar. Isn't Saturday the sale day at Alhiga Pharmacy? Hello, young man. Say, have you heard anything about those mysterious cases of ordinary healthy people changing overnight? I mean, Fire Emblem Three Houses definitely feels like a kind of a persona game on the social side of it. I say that as somebody who enjoys both games. Um, I have heard things about those cases from friends. Guess that shouldn't be a surprise. It's all over TV. Well, I mean, you didn't ask me any questions. It's like, have you heard of this? Yes. Ooh, pharmacy. That is the highest form of flattery. It is. I think it's, honestly, I don't think it's such a huge deal so long as the thief doesn't try and take credit for it. I don't think there's anything wrong with paying homage to something so long as you're honest about it and you don't try to pass it off like you were the one who came up with it. That doesn't apply to everything, but for things like little things like this, it's fine. This place sells all kinds of stuff. If you need any kind of medicine, they probably got it here. Actually, I should stop by here after the police station. Oh, I can't go in. Kenneth Arnold, music shop? I think. Do you usually get the limited or the standard edition? For both. For me, Wait, we can talk about this later. First, let's go meet up with Sonata-san. Game perfect. Exactly. There's some pretty good games here. It's usually pretty crowded, though, so what games are open kind of depends on when you go. You can check it out after we're done with Sonata-san's thing. Where's the base station? That looks like a karaoke spot. Mandragora. <laughs> Tune solo karaoke is pretty hot right now. I don't really get it. Is it, like, proving you're brave enough to do it? Anyways, police station time. Honestly, okay. I, I know it's a different sort of social thing in Japan, karaoke, but personally, like, I feel like if you did karaoke by yourself, that's because you enjoy doing it, but you're self-conscious about it. I think. Like, if you're somebody who's, like, in the habit of doing it, it's like, I don't know, like, it's, it's a Gretzko energy, where it's like... Getting your feelings and your energy out there. I think it takes more bravery to sing in front of people. Honestly, like, I get it. I'm like that with dancing, but I'm a terrible dancer. So the only time you're going to catch me dancing is when I'm by myself or if I'm very drunk. <laughs> Dude, you passed the police station. Turn around. Yeah, it's here. It's got like the little star thingy. Yeah. This is the place Sonata san was talking about, right? Alright, wanna go in? Let's go in. You gotta scream it out, man. I should be wearing my Gretzko shirt right now. Thank you, Kurosawa san. I'll be taking this. Actually, fun fact on the topic of a Gretzko, I have the same birthday as a Gretzko. So, she is automatically my favorite Sanrio character. Oh. These are the guys I was talking about earlier. <sighs> this is he doesn't Officer look sketch Kurosawa. at all. He helps keep our squad well equipped. What? It's only a one star police station? I mean, it'll do, I guess. Oh, and here. This is from Ikutsuki san. Ooh, we got some money. Whoa, is that our war funds? You shouldn't have. You can't fight empty-handed, so find something you like. <laughs> Buy yourself something pretty. Kurosawa-san has connections. He can secure equipment for us. Wow, that is not ethical. But these things still cost money. Of course they do. Nothing in life is free. I'm sorry, like, is he supposed to be new gun daddy? Like, I miss Persona 5 gun daddy. 
I realize that. Well, I'll see you later. I've been informed about you two. My job is to maintain peace in this city, regardless of the circumstances. Is that Liam O'Brien? Is this how they segued him out? They're like, he's not playing Akihiko anymore, but he is still here. I'm just an ordinary police officer, but it doesn't take a genius to know something strange is going on here. That's so funny. I'm glad he's still here. I'm not gonna lie, was a little let down not to hear him as Akihiko, but new actor sounds great. Like, I have no complaints. I'm gonna this guy be the first. I'm only doing what I think is right. Nothing more. No, like, I agree. Like, this guy is the first. But I'm just saying, I got really attached to EY in Persona 5. That man was fine. If you need something, we can talk in the back. Agreed. Alright. I don't know. Like, I... I always got a soft spot for Liam O'Brien. I loved uh, Monster. He was great as the lead in that. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. Oh, I hope he says that line in battle still. That'd be so good. It's tough. It's uh, if, if you search around, you can find it, but obtaining it legally? But would heartily recommend uh, the monster dub to anybody out there who's open to dubs. It is very good. At Tatsumi East Police Station, you can purchase equipment for you and your party to use in battle. You can also sell any equipment you aren't using if you need a little extra cash. There's no telling what dangerous Tartarus will throw your way, so be sure to gear up with the highest quality equipment you can afford. <laughs> Spend all your money. <laughs> Equipment is listed in four categories. Weapons, armor, footwear, and accessories. Footwear? Weapons, armor, accessories I get. Footwear? Weapons primarily influence attack damage. Armor reduces the damage taken by the wearer. Footwear affects the wearer's evasiveness. And accessories grant the wearer various special effects. Sometimes equipment other than accessories will also grant special effects. Try out different combinations to optimize and specialize your loadout. All right, let's do some shopping. Uh huh. Let's see. Well, I mean, Captain's got to look out for number one. Got some new things in stock. Let's see. Check so attack out. goes up to time. sixty. Wait, what is my current one? Long as you need. Oh, here we go. Compare. Thank you. 38? Okay, yeah, that's uh, an improvement. Easy to use, sword. Ooh, I get plus 10 HP. Climbing a lot of stairs in Tartar Sauce. <laughs> gonna, gonna wear down the shoes. Feel free Honestly, to buy whatever you want. as someone but who I actually. I suggest picking something that complements your physique. Fair. Um. As someone who actually needs to pick up new running shoes because I've worn through my old ones, like, never underestimate how much walking and running will wear through them. Especially if they're cheap pairs you picked up at Walmart. Um, you know what? I do really like the 60 attack. I know you get plus 10 with this, but I just got healing magic, so I'm gonna get the saber. Everything look good here? Yep. Great. It's all yours. Uh, let's clip it, and... Let's sell it. Actually, as long as you need. Oh, okay. This is much easier then. Okay, uh, short bow. Let's see. Attack is 30. Uh, okay. Shouldn't worry about buying stuff. You get all the I have no idea what you're fighting out there. Just don't get in over your heads. Uh, 35. Ooh, these are not very good. Let's see. 45? Okay, it's not awful. At least for now? Okay. Yeah, okay. What about armor and stuff, though? Later on, it's good. You'll have more money. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm already down to 53. Okay. Um, what are you looking I mean, for? 
24. Okay. Um, I, I do think armor might be something to invest in. Herbal highly elastic, agility plus one. Feel free to buy whatever you want, but so I suggest picking something that complements your physique. Ooh, yeah, I'm not gonna have enough. Okay, you know what? Is that what you want? <laughs> I'm, I'm getting armor. It's all yours. And that's it. <laughs> I'm out. Armor over weapons. Yeah. Because you're usually starting off with, like, mm, I'm wearing my t-shirt. That's going to defend you against nothing. All done here? I'm done. Come back soon. If you want to buy anything, you know where to find me. Drop by any time. I can't believe the police station's selling weapons. What's more? They only gave us 5,000 yen. Ain't that kind of stingy? I mean, kind of saving the world. I, never feel like... I mean, we're also oh, crap, teenagers. This late already? Not gonna trust us with, with real money. <laughs> I'm gonna miss the rerun of the Lonely Shogun. I gotta go. Not the Lonely Shogun. Uh, you go do that. I'll go home. I'll leave the rest to you, leader. Let's meet up again. You know where. There's a ton of shops and stuff in this place, so you really should check it out while you can. All right. See you back at the dorm. See ya. Starting today, you're free to use your after-school hours however you wish. I don't have to go to bed. Making use of various school facilities or visiting certain spots in town can raise your academics, charm, or courage. However, the number of activities you can engage in each day is limited. Think carefully about how you spend your time and plan ahead. We made it. We made it. When you turn network functions on and press N, you can review online player statistics and compare progress. <laughs> is there a bench? Pressing N may also provide tips if you're stuck or recommend actions if you can't decide what to do. Here. What do we got here? Alright. Life played at the arcade, made you made use of karaoke. Went back to the dorm. No. We're not doing that. Studied in the library, made use of the movie theater. Made use of Will Duck Burger. They got a burger place here too. Gave money as an offering. Made use of Hagakure Ramen. Level is 6, Tartar Spores Explored at 13. Check. Social link, none. Alright. Um, oh, buddy, you're not looking good. Okay. So, despite the fact that we have only just earned our freedom, I have noted that the time is 9.30. So I would like to weigh my options and explore the different places around the mall. But maybe that might have to wait for the next stream, which is going to be tomorrow night at 7.30. So it will not be a long wait, I promise. So I think we will call it there for today. But thank you so much for joining me for another fun installment of persona 3 reload we got some more of the tutorial stuff out of the way we're finally getting some freedom which will be exciting and i'm gonna have to think about what i want to do here at the mall like there's a lot of stuff at my disposal here oh thank you very much much appreciated thank you for stopping by and as a quick reminder we will be picking things up tomorrow night at 7 30 if anything changes between now and then, the details will be on Discord, on Twitter slash X, over on Threads, here on Twitch. I will make sure the word gets out there. Oh boy, leader. See, they're throwing around a bunch of names. It's captain, it's leader. Looking forward to tomorrow for more social link. Honestly, the social link stuff is like one of my favorite parts of Persona. So like, I'm actually super excited to unlock more social links very excited but in any case thank you so much for joining me hopefully i will see you tomorrow night and until then have a good one see ya